All right, what we're doing here is we're gonna uh, take out a dent on the hood of a 4Runner. It's just over a quarter size dent, right there. And uh, we're using a line board. And uh, what you'll see is you try to start from the middle and uh, make this dent smaller and smaller. If you've been doing it a while, it doesn't take too much time. You're, you're prying off of the bracing, and I like to use my off hand and it, to help guide. This is the pushing hand, this is the guiding hand. So it pushes it back, this hand pushes it back and forth, and it gives you a little more control. Perfect. What you're trying to do is mimic the orange peel in the paint. And that's how you want to make your pushes that small. Some people call it massaging. What I have is a, a tool behind this. And I'm wedging it out. You just go around and get each little high, each little low. What I'm doing is just blending out all the high spots. Then going back and get all the low spots. Then like this would uh, cost anywhere from $45 to $90, depending on the location and the severity of the dent. And what type of client, if it's a wholesale client. Um, I'm now going to move my line board to a different direction. It's called cross checking. That's what it looks like now um, from the other side. And if if you don't cross check it, you're going to miss some highs and lows. You, you can see the. Uh, you see at the at the back side, there's some highs. We'll tap that down, but we're going to grab some of those lows first. Just trying to be pinpoint accurate. And a lot of times, as you can see it being pushed up, you have to push it past the state of flat to high. Then tap it down. And basically that's it. You go back and forth, going highs, tapping the highs, and putting out the lows. And then it becomes flatter and flatter. The tapper I'm using is a special plastic that is uh, sanded down so it doesn't mar the paint. Alright, after uh, pushing and uh, tapping for a while. We're left with just one little low. Um, we'll just take that out. We did polish it one time. And that just kind of smooths out the texture. And 
just about there. I'm going to cross check it one more time. I'm going to just change my angle. And it uh, should be it. So when you cross check, you can see still a little low, a little bit high right there. So it's important to cross check because from different angles, it will appear to be flat when it's really not. What happens is you see that high on the far end. And when you're looking at it, the dent from the other side, it'll, it'll hide the low from behind it, kind of like a mountain in front of a valley. You can't see the valley because there's a mountain in front of it. But we're talking micro on the microscopic level. Now, we'll just have to tap it down a little bit. It should be fine. A little low left, we'll hit it. And then buff it one more time. It should be pretty good repair. All right, it's uh, another good repair. Thanks.